Hey, what's going on, Cloud Scholars? I hope everyone out there is having a blessed day. My name is Kieran Trust, and I'm your host once again over here at the Cloud Scholars page. Today's video, what I want to talk to you about is how to use custom Azure policies to enforce your naming conventions. Now, I recently uh, did a video where we talked about how to approach naming conventions within the Azure space. If you haven't watched that video, you should definitely check that out, and I'll leave a link in the description below for that video. In this video, I want to go into a deeper dive. I want to actually roll up our sleeves and show you exactly how you would go about enforcing that Azure um, naming convention using Azure policies. So the first thing we're going to do, I'm going to come over here to policies. I'm going to click on definitions. And then once I get here to definition, I'm going to click on policy definitions. What we want to do is create a new policy definition. And for the location, I'm going to choose our subscription, Cloud Scholars. And for the name, I'm going to say Enforce Resource Group Name Deny. And I'll put in the description uh, this policy will um, make sure that resource groups follow the correct naming convention I spell right Let's see what I have my subscription okay that's good category I could call it a different category I'll just say governance and what I'm gonna do I'm gonna take all this out here delete that and I'm gonna come and create this new policy this JSON so what is exactly what is this doing so what this is doing is if I can zoom in a bit there we go uh, it's going to say mode all, and then it has a policy rule, all of type, and then it says equals Microsoft resource subscription resource groups. And what it's going to do is say uh, field name. So any of the field names, not like RG dash, followed by uh, a bunch of words is not going to work. So our resource groups have to start with the RG. That's the first thing. And then it says all of. And then it says a uh, field name, not like dev dash us and then dev uh, dash usw and so on and so forth. So what this is basically saying is that the RG needs to come first for resource group. And then it needs to be followed by any of these um, name fields after. So what it, what it means is it will be RG dash dev dash use rg dash dev dash usw and so on and so forth and that's pretty much how the name is supposed to go if you do not create a name according to this rule set right here it will not allow it so what i'm going to do is i'm going to click save now i've created it but i haven't enforced it as of yet so if you come here and i see assignments at zero so if I go and I click assign, now I get to assign it. So I say, okay, we have a cloud scholars and I could say, I could do it to the whole thing or I could just do it to a resource group I can apply it to. So what I'll do is I'll just say, you know what, let me, um, like, you know what, let's keep it to the whole thing. Let's just do it that way. We can, we can do it that way where we can set it up and make sure we have our resource groups correctly. Uh, down here, we'll say enforce resource group deny and We'll just click advance, nothing there. We don't need, we don't have any parameters or remediation, nothing there. And then we could put something in compliance. Now it, it will tell you that you're out of compliance, but we can put in like a special uh, message here for people saying, hey, uh, please follow the correct naming convention. And I can click next. And then what I'll do is I'll click create. So now this policy is at our subscription level. So we will not be able to create any resource groups if we're not following the, create, the, the correct assignment. Just so we're all on the same page, what I'll do is I have all this information here that we need to follow. So what I'll do is I'll open up a new tab. In this new tab, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go to resource groups. While I'm in resource group, I'll say click create. 
And here is where we're going to figure out if we created it correctly. So remember, the re the the policy says it says it needs to uh, start with the RG. Come over here. It says any field name not like RG, it will not work. So let me start off by just doing uh, just work RG. See, it says policy enforcement value does not meet requirements on resource just working. Uh, Microsoft resource subscription has given us the stuff that says the value just working in the field was denied and it's, it, We click on here. It's gonna open up. So we know that that's that's good So I'm gonna type an RG and I'll put dash and let's see what happens uh, Does not meet a requirement. So what I need to do is I have to follow it with one of these right here So I'll just say produce. Let me just take that one You see, I got a green check mark. So that lets me know that it's working. Our policy is working. So if I were to take this out, you see, right now it's not giving us anything because I took that out. So let me take this info right out here, go back to this point, come back over here. And what I'll do is I'll say, you know what, let me come here to test use. And test use. Let's see what happens. There's no dash there. It's not, not going to see it because it needs a dash. I'm going to drop a dash there. And there you go. So that is working. So that's how you would you know if you want to make sure that your staff is following the right naming conventions. You're using the Azure policy, a custom Azure policy, and is building it out. Um, I, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a link in the description uh, to the same JSON, but you can use a bunch of different things for this. You can do stuff with virtual machines. There's a lot of different stuff that you can do in order to make sure that the naming convention is something that you want so that you can stay within compliance. And then obviously your naming conventions um, definitely help you understand what each specific resource type is doing. And that's how your naming conventions should be. You should be able to look at your naming conventions in an environment and say, okay, I understand what the purpose of this machine or whatever resource type it is, why it was deployed and why um, it is essential to our business. So you don't want to have, you know, resources that you have to go around and ask questions because that just doesn't really help anyone out. So this is a short video. I want to thank you for spending the time and looking, watching this video. I hope the information I provided you was beneficial. Um, if you haven't done so already, please smash that like and subscribe button. Um, as always, my goal here at Cloud Scholars is to get you from scholar to consultant and of course, consultant to expert. Thank you and see you next time.